Hey gang, Sean here from the Commander's Brew. You're about to watch The Lost Cards based on Orcus, Prince of Undeath. Uh, if you saw our deck tech regular episode, you saw the level one Dungeons and Dragons campaign deck that it was based on uh, from Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. But in Lost Cards, we're going to look at other D&D type adventures to turn this deck into. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. It's Lost Cards. It's Orcus, Prince of Undeath. Uh, it's a level one D&D campaign where you have to go kill 30 rats in a basement. <laughs> right, that's right. the whole that's thing. The, that's the gist of the main episode, right? If that sounds interesting to you, please check out that episode on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. um, but but th this is the that's the classic level one campaign. So the first Lost Cards we do is usually just kind of the obvious kind of like uh, upfront one. And I think the most obvious one is just make it Mardu and get Immortal Servitude in there, right? Um, Immortal Servitude is that X hybrid Orzov, 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 so three Orzov mana. So you have to have white in your command zone. So we can't make this an Orcus deck by doing that. But if we want to get a million rat colonies out, well, guess what? Return each creature card with converted mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. This on Orcus would cost you like 30 mana to get yeah. like 12 or 13 rats out. This costs you five mana to get unlimited rats up to the 30 that are in the deck. Pretty cool. Pretty it's cool. the best. So then like who like who's the commander, right? Who you make? Who's your favorite Mardu commander for that sort of thing? I couldn't really think of a great one on theme, but just for like the, the gameplay, I think like Snapdax Apex of the Hunt is a fine Mardu commander for the Rat Colony deck. It's one red, white, black for a double strike three five, but you can mutate it for five total mana, and we can mutate it, you can mutate it onto a rat, uh, and when we when it mutates, it deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. You gain four life. But here's an example where I think we would mutate under a rat colony probably to keep the numbers of rat yeah. colony, right? Um, although well, he it would, would still the say text. the text. Yeah, you yeah, still have okay. the rat text, so it still would be oh, yeah. for each other rat. You're still getting the plus one. So like, yeah, no, you would you would keep snap yeah. on top because it would you so, have I mean, you gain some toughness there. And now, now that's your commander. So if you can get it up to 11 power with double strike then like that's a one hit kill that's pretty oh, good that's... actually snapdax is a nice little rat commander yeah <laughs> that's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah yeah this is nightmare yeah. cat dinosaur nightmare this well the cat the... part gets the rats together this is the like you uh i don't know like it's like the video game D&D, &D, but you turned up the difficulty. So then <laughs> yes. you went and killed all the rats. But now there's like a monster rat that's not there in the easy version of the game. Yeah. yeah. Like you expect the last rat to be there. It's like, oh, no, it's a huge monster. This yeah, time. exactly. Uh, yeah. What about a mid-level quest? Let's up right, the difficulty. Right. Let's say we're, you know, we're up around, you know, third, fourth, fifth level now. Okay, so you're level three five to five party. Sure. You're always going to run into one of these campaigns where you find your way into a new town, uh, mm -hmm. but like, hey, what's we, we just want to get some supplies. Well, why is it so hard to like find anything? It's like, oh, haven't you heard? People keep getting kidnapped, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. Uh, forget I said anything. So we could kind of theme this Rakdos deck led by Orcus as like a steel and sack aristocrats theme to kind of get that feeling of adventure the the heroes discover like what's going on in this town it's like oh there's a cult an underground cult that's kidnapping people like with claim the firstborn and those other kind of like steal your thing price of loyalty just came out from the new set right you're gaining control of your creatures i'm sacrificing i no doubt have a lot of aristocrat type of creatures so that when i do you lose life i gain life so the, the heroes must solve this and then orcus the demon is at the center of it all yeah, of course. Right. And uh, creating bringing people back. And yeah, he's the big kind of like that mid level boss. Um, yeah. OK, but what if we wanted to make this um, like a late game, a later <laughs> like and that might not necessarily be level 20. That's really super, super high end level. But like what if we're like level 13, 15, you know, we're, we're, yeah. we're getting up there. 
Well, I mean, we kind of hinted a little bit during the main episode, but like if you're if, if you're talking about any sort of deck that runs one of those creatures where you're allowed to run infinity, I think Shadowborn Apostles is the best thing to run for it. Um, this is a five dollar card, right? Unbelievable. Uh, so so if you if you want 30 or more of them, that's going to be really expensive. Uh, but you get to bring like you, you sacrifice six of them for one black and you put any demon straight onto the battlefield. So it's, it's like, it's worth it. It's a, they're very strong cards and there's lots of, and I actually hadn't thought about the Shadowborn apostle deck in quite some time. Mm -hmm. Um, not since nightmare shepherd came out. Uh, this is a demon it's two black black enchantment creature. This is from uh, Theros Beyond Death. Four four flying. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, make a copy of it. Except it's a one one and it's a nightmare. In addition, uh, Nightmare Shepherd is a demon. Nightmare Shepherd is a demon. So your first six apostles get this, and your next six get any other demon. But those six come back as nightmare versions with the same name so they're allowed to sack themselves for another demon at that once you have this demon out you're getting double demons for every six that you sack you're getting double demons pal you're double you're demon double in it demons. double demons double demons i love it uh what about the part of the quest where you have to go get the special weapon oh yeah you have to run elbrus the binding blade <laughs> in that version of the deck right uh on the back it's like a black demon creature so you're allowed to run it in a rakdos deck um but yeah like whether it's like maybe it's the rat colony one you could play it but i swear this was fun it was fun it's maybe not the best card for the game for like winning but like it's just a fun it's so perfect for like a DD kind of campaign the story is built in Anything from Innistrad probably would fit that. Yeah. I Yeah, the flavor on this card is super fun. One of the yeah. more fun designs, like, I think that they came up with in a set. I mean, this is from Dark Ascension, I think, right? But right. in a total, in like a block, you know, Innistrad block that had a lot of really awesome design in it. The, this one's one that we always, we seem to come back to a lot in Commander specifically, just because, and I think it's because it just sticks out in your head. It's such a cool, yeah, such a cool card. Both sides are really neat. Yeah, uh, and yeah. it really got my brain flowing. Like, like we tried to keep the Lost Cards to the a similar, the same Commander or a Snap decks when we added a little bit of white sure, for yeah. Immortal Servitude. But like, it, it, it was fun to like, Sometimes it can get tricky to brew a deck and you're like, oh, I'm out of ideas. Like I've done tokens, I've done yeah. go tall, I've done elves, I've done this. But like when you try to create like it feels like a, a new space to explore. I would encourage veteran deck brewers or even like if you're kind of new to making decks, if you feel at all inspired, just think of like the kind of story you want to tell with your deck, not just like. Well, I mean, mm. I'm not going to put any restrictions. It's just like I wanted to tell like the story of a of a D and D campaign, and it worked quite nicely. Yeah, it really did. It, it and it's it's a real deck. Like, yeah, I don't think you you said in the in the main episode, it's not like the most powerful thing, or or it's not like you know, it's for like a, a lower level of of setting of you know maybe of commander table or something like that. But um, it's it like doesn't even really have to you know what i mean like yeah it, it and and in fact there's a lot of what you described is pretty powerful <laughs> you know what i mean like <laughs> sure you sure. said that to us and then and then these other versions that we're looking at here you know uh i love the idea of snapdax being at at the the helm of this deck and then you know uh all of a sudden we have access to white and then there's a lot of those like um uh, bring everything back oh, you know like yeah. the turn that went to the graveyard i feel like yeah. that would be really helpful with the rats and you can really mess around with that's um, what's missing from black like black and red can't really do that like ogre slumlord works so well with that with like a sack outlet bring them all back make mm -hmm. a bunch of rats or sorry sack them all bring make a bunch of rats bring them all back and like do it again like that's yeah it's, it's wild yeah um i love yeah. that i love that mix and then you still keep orcus around because it's a great card to do that death triggers is something that uh, stuck out to me i actually thought that might be something you were going to lean into 
oh, when I yeah. first like when I first caught a glimpse of the commander and 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 saw where you were going with the theme. But like, think about Orcus and or Dorcas and the ability to each other creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn you lose X life. Like Ooh. make that a one and have all of your rats die and just get like a ton of triggers off of that. Like maybe after you be, it's like swing in for a big attack and then you've got something on, online that cares about that. And then you can actually just, you know, minus one, minus one, everything and do it. I forgot to I meant to put this in um, our boy Neo Maxis um, always Neo Maxis always with like the wild ideas. I forget <laughs> the card name. I didn't end up running in the main deck, but it's that red enchantment that whenever anything enters a battlefield, you got to trade it with someone. Like oh. if, a, if a creature comes in, you got to trade it. So the notion is we're making rat colonies. I can give other players one or two rats and it's not going to be the worst. But then my Orcus giving everything minus X minus X would kill their whole board. But now I have their bigger things. I only did X equals one. <laughs> so like if right. I can and give the, them oh, all yeah. X ones th- and, and take their big ones. Yeah. So like like that one card changes the deck in a big way what's it called it's a it's a red enchantment uh, i also thought of uh, is it mirror mockery or is it uh i was mirror mix... mirror, mirror march. march yeah mirror, those ones I mean, i'm telling you andy mirror march we always talk about but it's like six man it's a lot but like it's fun and it's fun to put it in a deck like this when you have 30 rats it is 30 rats 35 lands like there is not a lot of room for other cards no, like I, I put some draw in there i put yeah. some return yeah some that's, that's the most important <laughs> stuff like yeah we don't really need to be mirror marching if we have 30 rats and we can play like four or five of them out you know straight from our hand at the beginning of the game yeah but it works it works it does it does the thing uh confusion in the ranks is the card Confusion in the ranks. Three red, red. When an artifact, creature, or enchantment comes into play, its controller chooses target permanent. Another player controls of the same type, and you exchange them. Uh, it's one of these chaos cards, so it does it for everyone. It's not like just you. Yeah, get to yeah, do it. yeah. But I, but my intention is to trade up all my rats and then kill all your rats that are that used to be mine. Yeah, like yeah, and then I mean people still get to steal your stuff though. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I think yep. it's worth bringing no, up. It's interesting for sure. Uh, well, I mean, I think there's a lot of interesting ways to do a Oof. deck like this, whether it's whether we're sticking with the rats, whether we're sticking with Orcus or whether we're sticking with a fun D&D like little like kind yeah. of campaign story. I think that's yeah. a really fun way to look at it. And I agree. Uh, creating a story with your commander deck is it's a great idea. It's a great thing to do. I love yeah. it when you sit down at, you know, Maybe it's someone you haven't played with. Maybe it is someone who's, who's just done this period, even who you know. And then they start explaining this like cool little track that they've got for their cards and how the story that it creates. I think it's like, great. Wouldn't it be? I'm just brainstorming here, but wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't you just be delighted to sit down at a commander table? Maybe it's a big public event. You don't know most of the people you're playing with. We're all here to have a good time. And you sit down. Someone's like, "Hey, okay, uh, I'm running this Rakdos deck. What are you about you?" It's like, "Oh." My deck is, uh, when you play against my deck, you this is the experience of going to get your driver's license renewed at the DMV. <laughs> yeah. And like, there's a bunch of vehicles in there. There's a there's a little bit of stacks in there. It's there's just a like, oh my god. Somehow, like there's, <laughs> like, there's just a lot like, of waiting. <laughs> like when I hear that, I'm like, I can't wait to experience. This. I I just want to see what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, man, that's the way to go. That's yeah, the way to go. I agree. I think it's a great, uh, I think it's a great idea. Uh, all right. Well, that's it for Lost Cards for this week. Again, if you want to check out the original episode, go back and uh, uh, check it out. It's on on here on YouTube. It's Orcus, Prince of the the Undeath, Undeath or Undead, Prince of Prince Undeath. Of undeath. Um, check out Orcus, Prince of Undeath, and uh, see what we did there. And then otherwise, we'll be back next week with a brand new deck tech and a brand new Lost Cards. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you love what we're doing, consider supporting the show by going to patreon.com slash commanders brew. And if you want to get any of the cards from our deck list, go to our TCG player affiliate link below. That helps us out too. And for a free way to help us out, consider sharing the show with some friends, like, and subscribe, add a comment or two. See you later. Bye.